Hi guys, this is Vibhuti Arora, your face yoga and face tool practitioner and you're watching me on eTimes. So today I'm going to teach you a quick facial massage, facial yoga technique that you could use for glowing skin on Valentine's Day. Let's dive right into it. I've put my hair up because I want no interruptions while I'm doing my amazing, amazing face yoga massage for glowing through the night tonight. I'm going to use a collagen serum because I love using skincare under my makeup. At least I know that it's working. A good quality collagen serum also helps as a primer. It fills in fine lines and gives your uh, foundation a flawless finish. I'm going to heat or warm up this serum in between my hands and start with a tapping or a slapping application like this. Now this tapping or slapping is an instant wake me up for your skin while the serum layer gets transferred onto your face. We will now start with the oil application. I always like nourishing or hydrating my face as well. I'm going to take a few drops of this oil. Activate the ingredients, give myself a facelift massage like this. Now that I've done that, I'm going to do face yoga massage number one, rosy cheeks. I'm going to start by pinching my cheeks like this. This is not only helping me lift my cheeks or make them pink because the blood is gushing in, they're also going to help my cheeks pop through the night. Perfect. Now that we've done this, let's move on to step number two. Step number two is a full face exercise massage. I am going to do the lioness face for extreme blood flow circulation throughout my face and for my foundation to last longer. Remember to do this before your date night out, not on the date, otherwise you'll scare your partner. Now that I've done this, I'm going to do a quick electric rose cut sculpt and tuck. Perfect. I'm going to give myself a quick cryo facial. I've chilled these. When you chill this onto your skin, it's not only making moisture last longer, but it will give me a flawless finish on my foundation. Perfect. Now that we're all set, let's dive into your makeup look. I'm taking my foundation that's closest to my shade. Use one which matches your skin type. I used to like to use the foundation first and then follow it up with a concealer. Don't forget your neck. Now I'm taking my concealer. While I do conceal my under eye, I also like to conceal in between my eyebrows and my nasal labial. Perfect. While I wait for my foundation to oxidize, I'm going to quickly do my eyes. But before that, I'm going to take some lip balm, apply it onto my lips. Lips are an essential part of your date night. Do remember that. I'm going to start with this shade of brown to create the illusion of a socket around my eye. I'm going to deepen my eye socket with this darker shade of brown just in the inner corners blend 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 perfect if you feel that there is a little excess just 
wipe it with my finger. Now I'm gonna use a flat brush. I'm going to fill my inside of the eye, the center of my eye with this lovely shimmery pink. Now that the foundation has dried up a little bit, I'm going to actually put in some blush for those rosy cheeks. I always like to do this before the layer of powder goes in. Powder my nose a little with the blush too. Go all the way up. By doing this and then layering it up with powder, what, what, I mean, for me, this works because if there's any color which is overpowering or it's too strong, the powdering later tends to tone it down. And even when the natural face oils get mixed, it gives you a very nice glow from inside. Now I'm going to take the powder and just powder the foundation to set it so that there's no patchiness whatsoever. Perfect. Don't forget the neck. And we're almost done. I'm just going to quickly brush my eyebrow hair. Another tip or trick to a quick contour is I just take my same eyebrow brush from the palette. I use the lightest shade and just cut the tip of my nose like this. There, it's almost as though I've had a non-surgical nose job. Of course, I used a little bit of gua sha before this as well. Now, at this point, I typically like to apply my mascara first and then my eyeliner. I know this isn't a normal theory. A lot of people do the liner and then the mascara. But for me, it just helps me shape the liner and cover my flaws or mistakes better. I'm going to show you. Watch. We all make mistakes. I just smudged my mascara. It's okay. I really like to build my mascara out. If you do use kajal, you could apply kajal at this point. I don't, I just apply a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes it really opens up my eye perfect now that this is done while i wait for my mascara to dry i'm quickly going to line my lip and then line my eye now the trick to lip lining is you start with the lower lip and you must always line your lip if you plan on wearing red lipstick because red lipstick will bleed otherwise you start from the lower lip outside like this then you flatten the finger and create an inside lip line now you could really build on the upper lip for those pouty pouts for date night I always like to line my entire lip because it ensures that the lipstick lasts longer. I'm going to finish this up with a lovely red. Do my unfinished eyeliner. Perfect. Last but not the least, I'm, I'm going to add the highlighter. You could use a fan brush. A fan brush is very easy for highlighter applications like this. Top it a little bit in between my eyebrows, a little bit under the eye. 
And that's my no fuss look for you. Finish my hair by opening my roller. Just combing my hair so they set right. Maybe finish it off with your favorite perfume. And you're set for Valentine's date night. I hope you have a lovely time. I'm all set. Who's asking me out tonight? Lots of love.